And Vic and Joanne, he just wrapped up the press conference a short time ago here in the command center. And you can see just behind me, the volunteers are gathering. They're getting food. They're getting ready to go out on more of those searches. Let's go up to Chopper 7. You can see just above here right now. Seven getting video of folks getting ready to go out on those searches. They have been scouring this entire area for days now, looking in streams, looking in creeks and rivers, looking through landfills, wooded areas, uh, even dumpsters yesterday, we were told by some volunteers. As you mentioned, the chief of police giving his latest press conference just minutes ago, the news was not good. Morenci's police chief says authorities are working on all leads at this point, but right now the focus has not narrowed and the news about the boys remains bleak. I refuse to believe that at this point. Uh, it is my desire to maintain hope. But as I said yesterday, uh, the information we have did not indicate that this is going to have a positive outcome. And as of the end of the week, citizen searches will effectively end. Uh, I've made the decision that as of Friday evening, at the completion Friday evening, uh, we would we would ask to discontinue the volunteer searches that are coming in. I'd like the opportunity to uh, process what we've collected through the weekend, what's been searched, what hasn't been searched, and reevaluate our direction for the following week. The chief's comments come as Skelton himself appeared in court this morning and volunteers headed out yet again to look for Andrew, Alexander and Tanner. At this morning's press briefing, the children's pastor said up until last week, the boys were looking forward to decorating for Christmas. We were decorating for Advent at our church, at our church and the community was also decorating the park. And so the boys had to choose between which place they were going to be and their boys. So they went outside to decorate at the park, but they did say the church is more important. And Andrew said, we're going to light up this town between the church and the park. And back at your live, you're looking at one of the volunteers. He has the boys' names written on the back of his, his uh, jacket there. It says, Andrew, Alex, Tanner, we don't quit. And that is really the attitude here from all of the volunteers, everyone who's come together to try and find these little brothers, only five, seven, and nine years old. They have been out there. They have been relentless, and they plan on keep going throughout this week. Reporting live in Morency, I'm Tom Wade, Channel 7 Action News. You know, Tom, I was struck, though, in listening to that press conference about how the police chief uh, talked about everybody in the general area, northern Ohio, in southern Michigan there searched their own properties. It almost sounded like real desperation that maybe there aren't any solid leads right now to know where to search, but that everyone needs to keep their eyes open. I think that's accurate. I mean, I did ask at the end of the press conference, you know, is it kind of back to the drawing board? Where are you in terms of leads? Is there anything solid focus-wise? Are you looking at one particular area? And from his response, it really sounds like, as I mentioned too, they haven't talked to John Skelton in several days, so they haven't gotten any new information from him. Apparently, he stopped cooperating days ago. So I think you're right. They're asking people to look in their yards, basically, to see if they see anything suspicious to report it to police. And I think also the fact that they're not reporting any narrow focus of this investigation. It really looks like we're back to square one, unless, of course, there is information they're not relaying to us. Yeah.